that's what his law firm does. Jim Ross says, we do a little bit of everything, I guess. Anything that gets us into the courtroom. He's not too far off as Jim Ross and Associates PC is a litigation law firm that handles personal injury, business litigation, probate, criminal law, immigration law, and family law throughout the entire DFW Metroplex. I've gotten tired of being part of the big firm stuff. I, I wanted to get back to the roots and just help out the people here in my community. And that's what I did. I left the large firm and opened up my own firm. I answered the phones. I did all my typing. I took out the trash. I uh, went to court. I did everything myself. Jim is someone that I can depend on him. I, it means a lot to me, man, because I've had several cases come up from citations to divorce. I had a false assault charge on me. That false assault charge from my ex-wife was proven to be false. It was truly false. I didn't think I was gonna get out of it, but wow. His actions, man, wow. He's 100% professional. There's nothing undone, no dots, nothing misled. You know, everything is perfect. I mean, perfect. Can you tell us what you do day to day within the firm? I primarily handle civil litigation and probate. So I have a caseload of probably about 50 to 60 cases that involve a lot of legal research. We have a lot of very intense, difficult cases, difficult meaning emotional for a lot of people, especially when we're dealing with probate, dealing with guardianship of not only children, but of adults, and then emotional in that there's lots of small businesses. They need help so that they can basically make a living for them and their families and their employees' families, and so it, it can be very emotional, especially dealing with the civil litigation. You have federal laws, you have state laws, sometimes they intertwine, and sometimes they intertwine in the same case. Talking with clients, making sure I get all of the facts that I need in order to help them the best that I can. They are very aware of the law and they're very determined to make sure that whatever wrong or whatever situation you're in is heard and done right. To recommend Jim Ross and his whole legal team, I would look at your needs and your needs if it's speaking Spanish, if it's speaking different languages, they have someone here to help everybody. I am in charge of the family law um, section of what we do here and so I manage all the family law cases that come into Jim Ross and Associates um, and I'm also the litigation manager. The other associate attorneys report to me with their litigation cases here. On a day-to-day -day basis, most days for me start in court with family law practice. We have a very active and thriving family law practice. Um, it involves lots of court appearances, lots of time in the courtroom. So most days for me start at the Tarrant County or Dallas County courthouses. Usually I'll have a hearing in the mornings or multiple hearings in the mornings and then in the afternoons is when I'm able to meet with the clients and draft pleadings and organize clients' files to get them ready to go to trial or to see if we can get them settled. For an attorney, you have a rather unorthodox past. You're in the Marine Corps, then you go off and you're a member of the SWAT team, you're a member of the police department for over a decade. Bring us up to date on why you did this and how it eventually took you to law school. I think in hindsight, it gave me a, a much greater advantage than what it gave other lawyers. You know, that real life experience, there's, there's a value to that type of education that you don't get in law books. There's a value to that education that you don't get sitting in a classroom. And that real life experience, whether it's talking a drunk down, buying drugs undercover, getting in a fight or a shooting or something like that, it gives you something to draw from. So being in a courtroom didn't scare me. In fact, it, it, it motivated me. It wasn't like I had to worry about, well, what am I gonna do now? The first law firm I, I worked at, within six months, I was supervising litigation. But I've tried some cases right off the bat. I think it's helped me in my trial experience because I went from high school to college, dropped out of college, joined the Marines, became a cop, a DEA officer. I did all of this craziness before I became a lawyer. So now when I get into a courtroom full of the average citizens, I relate better to the average citizens normally than I do to the other lawyers in the courtroom. And I think it's resonated with those jurors and we've had some good success as a result of it.
Jim has so much experience doing a vast array of different cases. He has huge asbestos cases, he has railroad cases, he has the knowledge of how to not only deal with cases that involve lots of entities, lots of dollar amounts, but he also has the knowledge of how to deal with smaller cases that might not be worth millions, but it were, it's worth a lot to one particular person. So, I mean, he has that experience in just the vast array of different cases and, and different types of cases, whether it be criminal, whether it be personal injury, whether it be a small business, he's able to help you in that aspect. We're an law firm that the attorneys are easy to access, um, that clients will find they can almost always reach the attorney who's handling their case immediately. And they're not able to reach them immediately. They're, they're able to talk with somebody who's knowledgeable about their case and get with them right away. Probably another unique aspect to this firm is that while we try and be very fair with people and, and get people good deals, we're also a firm that's not afraid to try cases. Since I've been here, we've had several trials. What you'll find in a lot of other law firms is they talk a lot, but are very rarely willing to step inside a courtroom. And here, courtroom's definitely not something we fear and instead something we very much enjoy. As I see you here, you look like a high dollar, white collar attorney, and yet you say you have this fascination with tattoos that started back when you were in the Marine Corps. Can you bring us up to date on that? Throughout the years, starting in the Marine Corps, I started to get some tattoos. So I have some tattoos. I have two half sleeves. They all mean something to me. A buddy of mine owned a tattoo shop that I was getting some work done here in Arlington. And one day he approached me and asked if I ever thought about investing in a tattoo business. And I thought, you know, no, are you, are you kidding me? Why would I do something like that? But then I looked at things a little bit closer and I thought, you know what, this isn't necessarily a horribly bad investment. There's a lot of interest in body art nowadays and TV shows about it, you know, all these reality shows about different tattoo artists and everything. So I did, and now I own a tattoo shop. What makes them different is I really haven't experienced divorce, lawyers. I usually do it online and everything is fine. This is my first time actually going through it. I've had car accident lawyers, and they never really explained to me the process of the things that I need to do and the things that I had to go through. And Jim did, he explained to him, look man, this is what you need to do, you need to take care of yourself, you need to go see your doctor. It wasn't about the money, it was about my health. And that's what makes him different because I've been in several car accidents and when I was in that lawyer, he was like, well, this is how much money you getting and this and that, and it wasn't all about that. You know, I'm still feeling the pain of going through other lawyers. Jim, in other words, he was like, man, this is what you need, take your medication, be sure you go see the doctor, and that made him a step above than all the other lawyers that I've experienced. The thing that I enjoy the most about what we do is we help people. And that's why we have a diverse firm right now. We do business litigation, we do personal injury, we do family, we do criminal defense, we do probate, we do immigration. Because when you come here, we're gonna bust our butts to, to help you. Now, we don't always win. Sometimes we don't have the strongest case. Sometimes it's just not the perfect fit but we'll always bust our tail for you. We'll do the best we can to get you the best results possible. And I enjoy that. We have a lot of really satisfied clients as a result of that. Jim freely and proudly admits we're a little different. The philosophy and work ethic at Jim Ross and Associates PC boils down to this. We're going to work our butts off for you, we're going to be honest with you, and we will always act with a great deal of integrity. Reporting for Close Up TV News, I'm Scott Murray in Arlington, Texas.